Let T be the tetrahedron with vertices at the origin 5, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, and 0, 0, 4 as pictured below. A fluid flows with the velocity given by the vector field where the position is measured in meters and the speed is measured in meters per second. We're asked to find the rate of outward flow or outward flux through the tetrahedron. Because we're looking for the outward flow or outward flux through the entire tetrahedron, we can apply the divergence theorem in order to determine the outward flow. Let's review the divergence theorem. The divergence theorem states that the total divergence of a vector field in a solid region V equals the total flow across the boundary surface S, which means we can determine the total outward flow by evaluating the triple integral over the solid region V of the divergence of the given vector field, where the divergence of the vector field is equal to the partial of F with respect to X plus the partial of G with respect to Y plus the partial of H with respect to Z, or F, G, and H are the X, Y, and Z components of the given vector field. And this formula shows the relationship between a triple integral over a solid region and a surface integral over a surface. So going back to our example, again, it's gonna be much easier to evaluate the triple integral of the divergence of the given vector field over the solid region V, rather than evaluate the surface integral over each of the four surfaces of the tetrahedron. So let's first find the divergence of the given vector field where F is equal to the X component of X e to the power of Y, G is equal to the Y component of Y, and H is equal to the Z component of negative Z e to the Y. Let's call the given vector field the vector field F, and now we'll find the divergence of the vector field F. We begin with the partial of F with respect to X, so we differentiate x e to the y with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which gives us e to the power of y, and then we have plus the partial of g with respect to y. The derivative of y with respect to y is one, and then we have plus the partial of h with respect to z, so now we differentiate negative z e to the y with respect to z, treating y as a constant, which gives us negative e to the y. Simplifying, notice how the divergence of the vector field f is equal to one, which means the outward flow is equal to the triple integral over the solid region V of one dV. Now from here we should be able to recognize because the integrand function is one, this triple integral is equal to the volume of the tetrahedron and therefore it's going to be much easier to use the geometric formula to find the volume where the volume is equal to one third times the area of the base times the height, otherwise We'll have to determine the limits of integration in terms of x, y, and z using the intersections of the blue plane and the x, y, and z planes. So let's go ahead and use the volume formula. But to use the volume formula, we do need to find the area of the base, where the base is going to be the x, y trace. Notice in the x, y plane, the x intercept is the point five zero, and the y intercept is the point zero eight. And therefore the volume, which is equal to the outward flow, is equal to one third times the area of the base, which is equal to one half base times height of the triangle in the x, y trace, which is going to be one half times the base of five, times the height of eight, times the height of the tetrahedron, which we can see from the z-intercept is four. Inside the parentheses, we have one half times 40, which is 20. 20 times four is 80. 80 times one third is 80 thirds. This is the outward flow, and therefore the units would be cubic meters per second. Or as a decimal, we have approximately 26.67 cubic meters per second. I hope you found this helpful.